Hello everyone. Today we're going to make this card. I think it's pretty as a Mother's Day card or just a simple thank you card for anyone because the inside has thanks for watching over me which would be a good sentiment for a mother um, or just you can change the sentiment down here to say anything you want it to say but mm, just I'm going to tell you what you're, the pieces that you're going to need a uh, piece of basic black cardstock cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored it four and a quarter um, you're also going to use a piece of blushing bride cut at three and a half by three and three quarters um, another piece of blushing bride cut at three quarters by four and one sixteenth and you'll see I've already embossed it using the perfect polka dots embossing folder and this one I actually already embossed as well um, this is not Stampin' Up! it is a sorry it's a cuddle bug embossing folder and it's called Once Upon a Princess or a piece of uh, vellum and this piece is cut at one and an eighth by seven and I also pre-embossed that and just this portion of it. You're going to be using scrap piece of vellum and what you're going to do is using the mixed bunch stamp set you're going to use this stamp and you're going to um, ink it up in in the Versamark and go ahead and emboss it with some uh, Whisper White embossing powder and then I put a basic jewel in the center, a basic rhinestone jewel in the center of it. You're going to put a little piece of uh, red line tape on the back and you'll see how we're going to attach that in a moment. Okay, a piece of the basic black and you're actually going to use the thanks stamp in the Rue de Fleur stamp set. Um, and this is actually only available until the end of this month now because we're closing in on the end of the Occasions Minis sales period. So if you like it, get it now before you run out of time. Alright, so you're going to again ink that stamp up in the Versamark and use the um, Whisper White embossing powder to emboss it. And then I used some um, basic pearls and I'll show you which ones. <clears throat> I used three. I used one of these bigger ones and two of these littler ones right here. Alright, um, you're going to use a piece of Whisper White Organza Ribbon and this is cut at 15 inches. Um, you're going to use some filigree brads which you're going to use these two which are like flowers, pretty flowers and um, I actually did something that I learned recently. You can change the color of, if you get a white brad or um, a metal brad, you can change the color of it by dipping it in some Versamark, then dipping it in some embossing powder. And I made this one white. And of course you have to heat set it, so um, you'll just hold it with a pair of tweezers and just um, hold the heat tool on it until it sets. Um, and I also am using a piece of, or I mean a Pretty in, pretty in Pink from the Subtles collection, the Pretty in Pink Brad from the Subtles collection. Because um, I just wanted to change it up just a little bit. Instead of doing all metal, I wanted to put a little color in it. And you'll see how that works in a moment. Um, I used some white stays on ink and I just stamped around it using these three stamps from the Mixed Bunch stamp set. So um, I just did little random stamps here and there and that's what they look like. So you can see all three of them on there. I know you can barely see it but it's just something subtle. It gives a little bit of a look of pattern to the paper and it's very pretty. Again with this piece you're going to punch out all four corners using the scallop trim corner punch and then also um, the, from the mixed bunch stamp you're going to stamp that down first and then punch it out using the um, 
the blossom stamp, I mean the blossom punch. Okay, so I have one of these, it's a ribbon punch, and you really can't see that very well, but um, when it punches out, it punches out like a slot so that you can go ahead and um, put a ribbon through. And I'll show you, you're going to use the score line as your guide, and you're just going to punch and I'm not going to, I don't know how well I'll be able to show you this on camera, but um, go in, I don't know, maybe about an inch or an inch and a half or so into the card and find that score line. And you're going to punch two slots, so just wide enough for your organza to fit through it. And it can bunch a little bit, and that's fine. I actually like how that turned out. All right. And then you're just going to pull it through, and you're going to tie a nice little knot. Okay. And you'll probably want to trim your ribbon up a little bit. You'll just position it, make it real pretty. Um, then you're going to take the piece of Blushing Bride and put a little bit of adhesive on the back of it. and tuck it in there and be careful of course to get it in place before you put it down and there it is off the side so it's um it's not gonna match to all the way to the ends and I did that on purpose because I wanted it to look like that I didn't for no other reason than I just felt like it looked fine that way and I, I don't know if you can tell what I mean but see how it doesn't go all the way off to the end that's how I wanted it okay Press that down. Then you're going to take the little back piece of your red line tape off of that blossom and you'll adhere it down over top of that ribbon. All right, and you're going to take a little a glue dot. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it off using um, my stylus and slip it underneath there so that you can't see it and it'll hold that ribbon and everything else in place. You're going to take a paper piercing tool and your mat pack and I'm using this this little swirl right here. I'm going to poke a, I'm going to take the smaller of the filigrees this one and I'm going to place it where I want it which is in the center of that swirl and then I'm going to poke my hole right through the center. Okay, hold it in place. And then take your brad that you um, you embossed with the white embossing powder and fit it on. You're going to take um, the center, this little swirl. So it's this little swirl right here and you're going to poke using the, with the um, bigger filigree poke a hole through there and use the pretty and pink brad all right you're done with the front just like that how gorgeous is that and it's pretty simple pretty easy i love it what you're going to do first is using the vellum and the pretty the um blushing bride paper. You're just going to fit it where you like it and fold the, the sides over. I'm just going to use um, a little bit of adhesive to adhere those backs down. So you'll figure out where you want it and then just press it down. Right. And then I've put some dimensionals on the back of that thanks piece, of the um, basic black thanks piece. And I'm going to adhere that to the center of the vellum. And then one last thing, um, using the For Watching Over Me stamp from that uh, Rue de Fleur stamp set. Okay, 
So just ink it up real well in your stays on ink. I don't know if I said that, but use your jet black stays on ink. Okay, then take it and stamp it down off to that right corner underneath the vellum. And that's what that looks like. Put some adhesive on. Find your center in the on the basic black. And there you go. I, I really like the combination of pink and black and white. I think it's pretty. And I think this is a really simple card. And um, you can either make it for Mother's Day or just to say thank you to somebody else. But that's what it looks like. So I had a lot of fun making this. I hope you guys do also in the future. And until next time, happy stamping.